Now, some of the world's most distinguished intellectuals and innovators are in Seoul today for the start of the World Knowledge Forum, which runs for the next three days. The theme this year is One Asia Metamorphosis in recognition of Asia's growing presence in the international community. Arirang News Kim Hyun-ji was there. The speakers at the 14th World Knowledge Forum say they recognize that the world needs fresh leadership as the strength of the U.S. and Europe has waned, along with the growth potential of China. Former Prime Minister of Thailand, Thaksin Shinawat, says that an integrated Asia could offer new leadership by adopting a growth model that's different from the mass production model of the West. Shinawat's idea of One Asia envisions connecting Asian countries with a high-speed logistics system that could boost local industries and small and medium-sized firms, allowing Asian entrepreneurs to tap into their creativity. Shinawat stressed, however, that the One Asia vision can be achieved only when the participating countries settle political or territorial disputes. Meanwhile, Larry Summers of Harvard University said that Asia's role will only get bigger and predicted the U.S. would have a less dominant presence in the next century. When asked to offer his prescriptions for the Korean economy, Summers pointed to education, saying that the focus should be on producing creative thinkers. Creativity was a key point for many speakers, including Salman Khan, the founder of the Khan Academy which offers thousands of academic videos in 23 languages for free. He said the best kind of education allows students to work at their own pace and take ownership of their learning. Over the next two days, the foreign participants will have a chance to further explore ways to foster creativity across a range of disciplines and develop the One Asia concept in the domains of business, finance and IT ventures. Kim Hyun-ji, Arirang News.